Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 20th of November 2024. I hope you are keeping well. It's my Sudoku at bedtime. Uh, a soporific maybe for some of you. <laughs> Fall asleep listening to my boring voice. Um, but uh, anyway, this is the New York Times medium level Sudoku Puzzle. Um, and uh, I just reading about uh, Trump's latest appointment in the US, uh, the <laughs> founder of World of WWE, which is a wrestling thing. It stands for World Wrestling Entertainment, actually, but I, I think everybody just calls it WWE. I, I, I don't, it's not something I've ever actually watched, it's, but I, of course, have seen clips and bits of it, of course. Uh, and, uh, Anyway, the person, the founder of that is going to be the new depart, uh, the new head of the Department of Education, and uh, somebody from the uh, National Education, uh, the uh, uh, president of the National Education Association, has said that this proves that Trump does not care about students' futures. Uh, I think that's a mistake. Clearly he does. He wants to make Americans the most stupid they could possibly be. Uh, you know, uh, I think uh, if they, they, I mean, Trump is going to do away, try to do away with the Department of Education, right? And uh, remove schools. Presumably that means they think people, kids will be homeschooled, you know, in religious sects. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't, God knows what they're thinking. Um, but, uh, I think that's the plan, isn't it? I mean, you know, grifters, I mean, Trump is the grifter in chief. Uh, grifters all want their people to be as gullible as possible. And how do you keep people very gullible? You don't give them an education. You give them a poor education or they give you a or you get some kind of false education based on religion. Uh, and that's the aim. So I, I think you're wrong when you say he doesn't care. He does. He's trying to make them the rest of the world as dumb as possible. When I say the rest of the world, I mean the rest of the USA and possibly by proxy the rest of the world since the US has so much hegemony. Let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? This is the medium level puzzle from the New York Times. I spotted something. I've let, I've let it slip. I spotted a pair of something somewhere where uh, this is where I spotted it I spotted the nine and four there the nine and four there because they were so close together nicely nice and neat and then there's a nine and four here so I happen to know that there are nine and four in those squares I don't know if that's the most obvious thing but it certainly is true uh, we've got a pair of eights here um, not sure if anything else is going to be useful Hmm, but that's going to be four and nine. I think maybe we'll come back to that later. It might prove to be more useful later on. This is a medium level puzzle, so there should be some easy numbers available before we move that far. Shouldn't there? They are bound to be, aren't there? Okay. Seven blocks down here. Seven, taking it right across to the end, blocks this square. We've got seven blocking those squares there. Seven has to be in one of these two squares blocking across. So we can say that is a seven. Seven and nine block down here. So we have a pair of seven and nine in those squares. This has to be one and three. We've got three across there. So there's our three, there's our one. And let's investigate up here. I know that they've got we've got eights here already, but what else are we missing? Two, two, six, eight. Uh, okay.
I've got a 7 in this square. Do you want to know how? Let me show you. We've got 9 blocking across here and up here, right? Like this. So 9 is in one of these squares here. 9, 6 and 4 are all missing from this row. But they're going to need 9, 6 and 4 over here. Because they obviously can't go in that square. So that's 3 numbers, 9, 6, 4 and this is going to be 7. That's how I know. 7 blocking up, 7 blocking down, 7 blocking across here will give me a 7 there. 7 across and across here and up there. 7 down, across there, there's a 7, 7 back this way. That's the final digit, 7, this is a 9. 9 up, 9 down, 9 across, there's a 9. And we had four, if you remember, four and nine in those squares, didn't we? So four there. I knew it would come in handy at some point. It's done its job already. Uh, I was looking at this, wasn't it? So this was four, six, nine, wasn't it? Four, six, nine. Uh, 9, 4, that's it. These can't be 4, 6, or 9. There must be 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Two. So 3 blocking across there. There's a 3. We're left with 1 and 2 in these squares. Down here we're looking for 1, 5, 6. One, five, six in different columns. Here we're looking for two, four, eight. Only the four. One and three block along this column. That's going to give us a pair of one and three in those squares and leave us here with two, five, eight. Um. So 5 blocking down here, 5 down here, and 5 across there will give us 5 in that square. One blocking down here puts 1 there, and the last number here is 6. Uh, what's in these squares? It's not 2, 5 or 8, which we, which go here. We're looking for 4 and 9 in these squares. Yes, we've got the 9 blocking there. So there's the 9 and there's the 4. 4 also blocking down here gives us 4 in this square. This is going to be an 8. 8 blocking all the way up here and 8 across there says you're an 8. Six blocking up here puts six into that square. This will be a three. Two, three, nine missing here, and we've got two and nine in the same row. That has to be a three then. We've le we're left with very um, uh, a symmetrical pattern on threes. So it's not going to help us. Look, we're left with that. That's useless for us, us Sudoku fans. Ah, but we can get this, can't we? There's a 1 blocking down there. That gives me a 1 in that square. 1 across here, 1 up there. There's 1. Uh, I think we're missing two and three here. Two, three, six. I think, yes, two, three, six. And we've got two and three together. So that's going to be our six. Six down here, six up there, six across there. There's a six. 
8 up here, 8 down there, there's an 8. And we'll be left here with 2, 3. We've got 2 blocking up. There's 2. There's a 3. 3 blocking up here, up here. There's a 3. And one more digit to get up here. What are you? Are you a 9 by any chance? No, you're not a 9, are you? Uh, 2 is what you are. And this is one across there and eight to, no not eight uh four to finish sorry one more number here five five down five up five across there's a five and five back this way and this way gives us five in that square the last number two place here uh, an 8, and we also have 8 blocking across there for an 8 there. This will be 2. Um, two blocking across there for a 2 there. There's a 9. This has to be a 1 to complete the row. Uh, let's see, what are we looking for here? We're looking for 2, 3, 6. Any help on 2, 3 or 6? I'm going to say no. What are we looking for here? We're looking for 6, 8, 9, I think. And certainly 8 blocking up there and up there will give us 8 in this square. And 9 blocking up here, we'll put the 9 here. And 6 will complete the row. 9 blocking down and down. 9 is out of the picture now. 6 blocking down here and 6 blocking across here gives us 6 there. 6 up, 6 down, 6 in that square. 3 blocking up there for a 3 there. This would be a 2. 2 down here, 2 across there. There's a 2. One across here for a one in that square. This will be a four. Four needed at this column. There we go. Uh, what else do we need? One blocking up there. There's a one. And the last number to place is a three. So a pretty straightforward medium level game. Sometimes they're much harder than that. It's difficult to know, of course. Until we actually play, we're never quite sure how easy or difficult any of these games are going to be. Uh, but I would say that one's pretty straightforward. Thank you for joining me on Wednesday. I'll be back tomorrow, Thursday, for some more Sudoku games. Take care. Do your best to enjoy your life, everyone. Bye-bye.